Welcome to Pops with Profs, the video series where we get to know our Huron professors. My name is Matson Kitamisi, the Huron Student Council President, and today I'm here with Dr. Scott Schofield. So, Dr. Schofield, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, it's an honor to be here. <laughs> we are really glad to have you here. So, first things first, um, I'm going to ask you the most important question. Mm. What's your favorite type of pops? Well, that'd have to be Dr. Pepper. Mm, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, it just happens that we have uh, some ice called Dr. Pepper uh, waiting for you today. Really? Vanessa. <laughs> Thank you. That's how we do things here at Chiron. <laughs> Only the best for our professors. Cheers. Cheers. Well, to get things started, I'm going first to ask you some uh, speed round questions. Are you ready? Ready to go. Great, here we go. Favorite type of food? Well, that'd have to be steak. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Name one item you can live without. That I can't live without. Ooh. Yeah. Good food. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite TV show? Uh, bit older, but Seinfeld. Which subject were you worst at in school? Have to be chemistry. Ooh, yeah. Lots of Tough. students actually Tough. don't like chemistry. Yeah. Um, chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Favorite day of the week? Hmm. Monday. Describe yourself in just one word. Focused. Wow, that's amazing. Well, now we get into some of the serious questions. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from and what leads you here at Chiron? Yeah, great. I was um, born uh, in Scarborough, so just uh, in the suburbs of Toronto, mm -hmm. um, uh, where I lived until I was 10 and then moved even to more suburbs, mm -hmm, to Ajax, mm -hmm. which is uh, in Durham, so the eastern end of the greater Toronto area, I guess, um, and lived there most of my life. Did my undergrad at Western, my PhD at the University of Toronto, um, and was always desiring, wishing, hoping I could get a job as a professor. Mm -hmm. And I remember the day I saw this ad and said, well, that, that would be an unbelievable place. That's like one of my dream places to go to is, is London, Ontario. Threw the ad in, somehow got this incredible mm -hmm. job. So that's how I got here. And actually that's a nice trend because, you know, uh, starting from Scarborough, small community, going to a huge community, which is University yeah. of Toronto, and now uh, at Chiron, which is a small community. Um, right. So what do you like to do outside of your work? Well, I think my, my favorite thing to do um, when not working is play soccer. I've played probably since I was, uh, well, as long as I can remember. I think I started at five. Mm -hmm. I'm still playing in a men's league, play twice a week. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, I love it. I love it. <laughs> nice. I also like soccer. Oh, Just great. a tangent. Great, great. Um, so <coughs> how, how long have you been working here at Chiron and what program um, do you teach? So I came in 2014, so I've been here now eight years, and I teach in the English and Cultural Studies program. Mm. And what um, aspect um, do you like the most about um, teaching in an um, English department? I, I, mean, I, I mean, part of it is the space, right? So here on is, especially in the English and Cultural Studies courses, we have small classes. Mm -hmm. You know, very tight-knit classes where we know the students well, highly engaged spaces, spaces where we can do things that are very exciting. You know, um, mm -hmm. we might study a play, for instance, in a course, but then we might go on to produce that play, you know, do a live performance, a video production, and then maybe get on a, a trip to go to Stratford, Ontario and see plays. So I love the fact that you, there's a lot of, you know, potential in a small classroom, and you can do things that in a bigger space you wouldn't mm -hmm. think about doing. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of my favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> that's really amazing. And what have you learned uh, while teaching um, 
the English and cultural studies? I think I've learned a lot um, over the years. One of the things I didn't know when I first came that I, I, I have a better sense of now is, you know, many, many English cultural studies students have this creative bug. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, they want to be here on the stage, some of them. They want to be, um, you know, writing poetry. And so uh, thinking about how, how we can tap into those creative, that creative energy mm -hmm. to allow students mm -hmm. to do this work. So, um, you know, again, designing classes, designing programs, extracurriculars that have this creative bent, uh, many mm -hmm. students gravitate to that. And so that's something I didn't know coming in, but here and it's, I've seen it um, and it's so exciting. And I can say, you know, at Chiron, it's even better because you get mm. to, uh, to experience that and, you know, having a, a small class size that you can engage with them, right. which is actually amazing. So tell me a little bit about, um, you know, uh, the best part of being a professor. Oh, the best part. I mean, you get to, like, you know, what could be better than to do what you love, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I get to work on texts that I would read for fun. You know, I, I get to teach those texts. I get to think about them, even after teaching some of them multiple times, return to them, have a student answer a question and make me say, wow, I see that scene in that play totally differently now. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so the, the, again, it's, the, it's a, the intellectual stimulus. It's not work to me in the sense of, you know, going to, you know, do something at the house that I, I don't want to do. <laughs> you know, it's, this is the, you know, the fact that I get to wake up and back to your question of favorite day of the week, Monday, in part because I look forward to it. I can't wait mm -hmm. to start my job. So, you know, that, that, I guess that energy and engagement, that's, mm -hmm. that's the beautiful part. That's in a great every community. Day. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Wow. That's fantastic. And so tell me um, a little bit about um, one of your favorite memories while working mm. at Chiron. Hmm. I think you have. I have <laughs> a, lots of them. Well, I do. <laughs> I, I have many. Um, I'm going to go with, you know, again, maybe because we've been in this pandemic the last couple of years, mm -hmm. and I'm getting excited because we are going to take students to the Stratford Shakespeare Festival in the fall mm -hmm. again. Um, but taking students to see plays, live performance, because there's something so electric about a live performance. And, and what's nice here is we're only 45 minutes from Stratford. Mm -hmm. So we go as a group. Um, we see a play at say two o'clock, then as a group we go out for dinner, we mm -hmm. go have pizza mm -hmm. and hang out as a, as, a, as a group, then go to a second play, get back on the bus, get back here at 11.30. Mm -hmm. And that for me, like that whole day, it's just, uh, it's the plays are great, but it's just being together as a, as a you know, it's a classroom on the road away, <laughs> in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then you come to the next class and you have this incredible discussion. You were, you know, you've read the text, but now you've seen the play and there's just this incredible mm -hmm. energy. So my memories of those moments, and we've done them multiple times, I c continue to reverberate. Mm -hmm. so. And you actually get to, you know, to witness what exactly happens in the community, uh, experiential learning. Oh, well, you got it. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. It's about watching people make what you're reading mm -hmm. um, and, and how that changes the way you might see a text. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really exciting. And, I, and I will add too, you know, Students who graduate, I often see them years later and, you know, they'll bring this up. Remember when mm -hmm. we went on that trip or this trip? Yeah. That's the sort yeah. of stuff you get pretty fired <laughs> up by. As a teacher, you're like, oh, that must be working. <laughs> so it's great. Yeah. So uh, who is someone here at Chiron that it mm. has impacted your life and why? Wow. Uh, so many. I'll stay, I'll, before I answer the question, I'll say the community on the whole. Mm -hmm. um, I know all my students, I know... 90% uh, of the faculty, and I'm starting to learn the new faculty. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So that's a big deal, and that's, that's shaped how I think as a teacher um, and as a community member. Um, but if I had to pick one person, um, uh, I would have to say Neil Brooks. Uh, Neil Brooks is uh, another member of our department. He's been at here on many years. He's retiring this year. Mm -hmm, he's um, really outstanding, yeah. He is, and he, he shows you the kind of commitment you can give to a place, to people, Mm -hmm. I've watched him and he's served as a model for me um, when, uh, and when I work with students. Um, there's many others too, but that's one that comes to mind. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can never finish the list. That's right, yeah. Because if they're you've all... Got, if you've got two hours, we can keep going. But no, I'm just <laughs> exactly. Dr. Schofield, uh, what is the one piece of advice, the best piece of advice that you have ever been given? I still remember... Many years ago, when I was young, 
uh, my father saying to me, you know, if you can, find something in life that you're passionate about and do everything you can to do that, to follow that. Mm -hmm. So in terms of my job, I mean, this is, this is it. If you said, you know, well, the professional soccer player is good too, but, I, but yeah, <laughs> but this is, this is, this is up there. Like this is the kind of thing where you're, you know, you get to, you get to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's not always the case you can, mm -hmm. and there's all types of reasons for that. But I always tell students to, you know, follow their passion, mm -hmm. to try and do what really drives them as opposed to what they think they should do. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. I think that's an important thing. So that's, that's the kind of lesson that I've learned and, and I try to um, share with others. So follow your lead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yep, absolutely. That's, that's, that's great. And, uh, you know, I know like, you know, as we said before, we can keep talking and talking and uh, just a lot of uh, inspiration that is coming from you. Mm -hmm. um, but for the sake of our time, um, let me just ask you one last question. Sure. Um, so let's say this video just goes viral and millions of people get to watch this video. Uh, what do you want to tell them? Hmm. I think I, want, I would want to tell them um, a bit about Huron and the special place this is. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, an incredible place for learning, um, for social engagement. Um, but a little bit off of that past question about, you know, you can see my excitement <laughs> over the program I'm in. Yeah. Um, you know, use that in your own life. Try to find a way to find that thing that, that fires you up mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so that you can make a difference in mm -hmm. some form. So, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, where I started too. Come so visit this place too. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So find something and follow that something. Absolutely. That's, that's really amazing. Dr. Scofield, thank you so much for joining us today and taking the time to speak with us uh, today. So, well, Fox, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on Pops with Pops. Cheers. Cheers.